Yes, we're inside our Louisiana Home Center kitchen, and tomorrow is a National Wine and Cheese yep. Day, and mm. these are two of our favorite things, so we couldn't miss Absolutely. a celebration, even if it's day early, right, Jonah? Absolutely not. Can't yes. miss out. Well, I'm so excited. This is Jonah Crawl. He's joining us with Enoch Stomp, and he's brought along some goodies. Quite the spread. Yes, yes. yes. So, International Wine Cheese Day, so we've got our normal charcuterie. Here. Okay, not normal. It's a little bigger than I was going to say, this serve. is not normal, yes, Jonah. this is like a group of 10 sort of thing, but we've got four great cheeses, a bunch of different fruits, um, some grapes, of course, at the winery after all, that sort after of thing, in the middle of harvest, so lots of grapes, but we're really excited about tomorrow. It's a, like Christmas for us at a yeah. winery. Uh -huh. I was going to say, what a great day to go visit in Enoch Stomp. So for everyone at home that might not be familiar with you guys, tell us a little bit about what you do. You guys are on 90 sure. acres Absolutely, out in Harleton, yeah. Texas, and it's just a beauty of a place. It's We like to call it an oasis um, because in East Texas or in this area, there's nothing like it. You guys have the water here. You're crossing over the bridge to get here for me. Um, but in East Texas, we've got those rolling hills and it's forest and it's beautiful. So for our 90 acres, we have a restaurant atop the 90 acres at the hill that's there and we have 12 acres of rolling grapes we just built a 5,000 square foot deck for outdoor seating and weddings and things like that so we're back in full service that meaning that we're doing full dining service so we have our yes. full menu back available and our chef and our plating expert put this together for us so if you haven't been and you're looking to get out of the house looking for something of course we're doing masks all the safe COVID things but if you haven't been it's one of the best spots in all of the area yes and Jonah for all of us who have been stuck at home for months now we yeah. We are excited to get out and I think this is great news to know that all you have to do is give these guys a call, make a yeah. reservation, they'll have a table ready for you. Please, please, yes, yes we've been filling up so, <laughs> so make a call as soon as you can, um, yes. but we would love to have all of our friends join us. Especially tomorrow guys, it's National Wine and Cheese Day, what a better time to celebrate. And Jonah, I want to try one of these cheeses, what do you say? Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah? let's go with, well do we have a knife is the first question. You know, we might have one right oh, here. Runaway line. We have this. Yeah, well that's like a butter <laughs> knife, so we'll try one of these. So harder Havarti cheeses here. And we'll okay. see what you think. Then we'll get you a little bit of bread here. You break the bread. Okay. And we're breaking bread together. How what a nice. nice, what a time uh -huh. to be alive. I love wine and I love That's cheese. Big, okay, big, so what is yeah, the just, flavor that I'm going to get here? So Havarti is a strong cheese. Okay. So you're going to get like a sharp flavor to it. Mm. Um, but the bread will mellow it out. And I like to do like a Havarti with maybe an olive, that sort of thing. You know, build okay. a little. If we had some toothpicks, we could build like the mini skewers. Some of my favorite things to I do. I really love this. And this is nicely paired with what sort of wine, I don't know. Yeah, so any type of hard cheese is going to go well with a dry white wine. The, the good thing about cheese is that it goes with every wine. But mm -hmm. my favorite would be like we have here our Chardonnay that I brought with us. So if we were to pour that open and we crack that and it'd have nice citrus acidity to it, but a nice full body that would mm. go really well that strong cheese. That sounds so good. We're going to get Josh back over here to join us. Do you want some cheese, my friend? Maybe some grapes? No, say, we don't need a knife for me. I'll just go <laughs> ahead. Yeah. And I'll take that whole thing right block. there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Jonah, thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Guys, make sure that you make a reservation at Enoch's Stomp. You're going to be blown away by this place. 90 acres of beauty. Not only that, but you get delicious wine and cheese and just a great service. Jonah, thank you again. My pleasure. All right, dig in. Do you want to get some? Here's a, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, right here. Knife. You want to cut some yeah. for him? No, All right, guys. Anyway. I'm sure he's great at this. Well, <laughs> not safe with the knife. Uh -huh. He's well versed. All right, uh -huh. guys. Have a great weekend. We're going to see you back here on Monday. Loving living local. Be safe. Wear your mask, and we'll see you on Monday. I know they're all in, in the. Yeah. Oh, that cheese is delicious. Right, oh, wait. Okay. So let's switch a room. Yeah. And do the next one. So